Sag, welcome to your singles and curious reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? Singles reading, because finding singular energy in the general love reading is not easy, okay? With emotional entanglement or emotional dominance, as I like to call it, it can just completely take over a general love reading. So while seeing singular stuff is true, you can see it in the general love reading. It's just not common. But trust me, that's not a complaint, honey. I'm happy to do a singles reading because it's just a palette fresher. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know, let me just, I'm like, some of the, the general love readings could just be so intense and burdensome sometimes and exhausting. So it's lovely for me to do singles reading and I'm happy to do so. Curiosity because, honey, I'm all inclusive. You watch whatever the hell you want to watch. Okay. Some of you want to learn about tarot. Some of you are curious about what your single alternative selves are doing. Okay. Um, all that. Absolutely. Watch whatever the hell you want to watch, honey. I'm all inclusive. I don't care. You know? So, again, point. You don't have to be single to watch this. All right? There you go. What's going on? Somebody need to see, please. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Couple things. I swear. I crack jokes and sometimes I express very strong opinions. If any of those things sound like they could annoy you, this is probably not the channel for you. Okay? Just let to let you know right now. All right. Uh, but if you do like my energy, my vibe, how I express myself, etc., please do let me know. Like, share, maybe even subscribe. I appreciate you. What's going on, please? What's going on for Sag, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for Sag. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, please? Show me what's going on. Show me that current Sagittarian singular energy. Ooh, say that three times. The fa I can't. Show me <laughs> that Sagittarian singular energy. <laughs> that's that's good I like that let's start that seven of cups everybody pulling this up lately mm -hmm. seven of cups what are my options exactly I know that's why we're here okay because this is what I want this is where we're starting yeah seven of cups excellent excellent the seven to the ten very nice seven of cups what are my options in love exactly mm -hmm. well, let's find out is there a person surrounding Sag please is that okay Queen of Swords Ooh, Gemini Libra Aquarius okay Yes, someone who has a very strong mind, simply put, and manifester. That's their underlying energy. So on the forefront, very informatic. This person is very informative, right? Decisions, 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 decisions. Manifester, they're like, yeah, manifest shit. Look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. Mm -hmm. Is the attraction instant? And I ask that because we don't always meet up in the same place at the same time regarding uh, attraction, okay? Is the attraction instant? Is the attraction instant between Sag and this? Okay. The star, son of Aquarius. Yeah. Yes, we are aware of each other. I do believe. You want to be seen as an option, I believe, by this person. Or they want you to see them as an option, something like that. But as far as I can tell, you are aware of each other, the star. Yeah. Someone might have a high visibility profile. The star being that far reaching, it's beautiful, but can I reach it? So that means someone might be highly visible. Okay, they're not easy to reach or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we're going to take a look. But yeah, the attraction's instant. I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. We might be at a distance from each other, though, as much as I would like to reach out and touch you, honey. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make more than a wish on a star. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What's the mental, emotional, physical attraction, please? Show me that mental, emotional, physical attraction. Show me that mental, emotional, physical attraction, please. Dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, and P.S. If you have Aquarius in your chart, please do pay attention. You could be dealing with one. Mental, emo okay. Six of Swords. Someone who knows how to move forward. Heal thyself. They can heal themselves very well. They move forward. Eight of Cups. Somebody's attracted to this. Somebody's attracted to the fact that when something, they're not emotionally tied to it. They don't have an emotional investment. Okay. If things don't work out, in other words, they move on. Uh, so again, very strong indication of a decision maker. Okay. Um, they don't always express their feelings on the forefront. That's probably a protective quality. But yeah, they heal themselves. They move forward. Calmly, peacefully, they start things over. They also have a willingness to travel and to be open up to life, as indicated by the Six of Swords. Uh, they don't mind traveling and or seeing the world, okay? Um, so they have that kind of vibration to them as well. So that's also attractive, yeah? Okay, challenges, please. Challenges in this connection. Show me the challenges in this connection, please. Now, why would this be a challenge? Ace of Wands. How to get it going. Mm, Ace of Wands, how do we get that fire going, baby? Don't tell me the passion is so intense we can't handle it. No, no, no. No, Sag, I refuse to believe that. Exactly. <laughs> That's you. Underlying that point. And so this could actually be your passion that you feel gets in your way. 
okay? Sometimes it might you feel like it overrides your sense of self. Bullshit. No. I, re I reject that premise. No. That's more like you looking at how can I get this started. Mm -hmm. Options. That's what you opened with. When we're how? When we're how? Okay. Not yet. There's a delay. Every I keep saying this. Four of Swords do nothing. Or there's a four week delay. Or there's a concept of four here. <sighs> Have strength. It's not happening as fast as we want it to. I don't know why. There's been a delay up to a couple of weeks, and I saw this hip. Actually, yeah, in Aquariuses. It was Aquariuses. That's right. That's right. I did see a time delay. It was literally under the obstacle indoor category. So this is when we're how it could be under peaceful circumstances with the four swords. Perhaps you two meet under meditation or yoga or something like that where there's calm, peaceful practices. But I don't. that's for some of you, not all of you. The, the main gig here is time. Something to do with four. There could be a time delay. Okay, up to four weeks. Per, and again, four weeks is, uh, the four swords, by the way, is doing nothing. Either because we have, we're on vacation, we're trying to heal, we're taking a time out, or our time is already pre-planned or preoccupied somewhere else. Okay, so after that shit's done, okay, that's when we can get back to it. It represents the calendar month, if you will, loosely speaking. All right, uh, but so we have to have strength. We have to have strength that things will come together. Yes? Things will come together with this person. It's just like burning desire to get that going, though. And I feel the impatience, honey, and I get it. So this is something that's outside of your control. Five of coins we filled. Let me know if you're dealing with Taurus. Or this is both of Taurus's cards. Um, let me know if you're dealing with Taurus or if you have Taurus in your chart. There might be a physical disconnect from your Taurus. Okay, specific, like literally, physical disconnect from Taurus. Or if you have Taurus in your chart, you feel physically disconnected from this person. Okay. All right. Uh... This, I need to see this. There's something here, and I saw this for some other folks. The 4th was of some, some significance. I'm talking April 4th, which would make perfect sense. 4-4, four, four, yeah? And then we have May 4th, and then there's upcoming June 4th. Okay? So just pay attention to the 4 digit. I don't know. That might help you on your pathway here. Show me what I need to see, please. And, so, and there's that 4 again. <laughs> yes, the Wheel of Fortune will change around this concept of 4. I don't know why. That's so funny because 4 is my favorite number. So I just, I always think that's interesting. I always, I can't help but pay attention to the number 4 personally just because it is one of my favorite numbers. It is my favorite number. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Mm. Okay, Empress on the split. Withholding. We're having to make an active decision to withhold our energy at this time. Or you might perceive your person that way. Okay, they're lovely, they're gorgeous, they're very productive, but they're withholding. We try to change that. Try to manifest something. Try to manifest out of that kind of withholding pattern. You, them, or the both of you. Okay. Well, some of it's built-in time structures, honey. Some of it you have no control over. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. Somebody had to travel outwards. Six of swords. I had to travel outwards. Okay. This was... Yeah. Okay. Show me what's going on here. Show me the seven of cups. That's you. That's like, you know, options in love. Yes. <laughs> Show me the seven of cups, please, for Sag. Show me that seven of cups, please, for... Okay. Strength. Take strength. You do have options. Could literally be with Leo. If you're trying to bring something back together after a disconnect, take strength. The answer is yes. It's just not happening probably the speed at which you want it or the smoothness. You're used to having things, uh, certain things planned out. So it's this, you don't, it's disruptive. It feels choppy. So it, it, it just takes strength in the fact that options here, if you disconnected, that's, again, the, the physical separation piece here. Okay, uh, take strength in these cups. It is correct. How so? Take strength in the options. It is there. You're not crazy. It, it, there's the seven of cups again. Take strength in the options. They are there. They're workable. They're literally workable. Three of pentacles. It's literally workable. You have to have strength though. You have to have strength that this is going to happen. It is, it's, it's, so you're not crazy, honey. Some of you are like, is this an option or what? Like, I don't understand. It is an option. You have to take strength that it's workable. Three of Pentacles. It is Three of Pentacles is the most tangible form of starting out structure. I can build this, okay? You have to have the strength to do this. You have to give it some time and patience if you want to balance up with this person. I'm telling you, so just like, so if you're connecting with Aquarius, 
their power card is also here by the way please check theirs out or if you have Aquarius in your chart again um, there is what looks like a physical bad timing vacation scheduled weekends disrupt who knows what okay it looks planned and then um, yeah I can bring this together it's workable it's totally workable okay the other person as far as I can tell is a queen of swords sharp mind very sharp mind strong decision maker show me this queen of swords please show me this queen of swords please Four of Cups, they ain't happy either about the expression, but they're keeping quiet as far as I can tell. They're patiently waiting for change, the Four of Cups, yeah, they're not happy with it either. Particularly where their expression is concerned, they, I'm guessing, would either like to express more or... That's, they're not happy with the options. Personally in love, they may not be happy with the options, okay. Can I get something more specific on this person? Yeah, three cups they want to reconnect to, but they don't quite know how to express it. Interesting. Yeah, they want to reconnect to, in the real world, 3D, Ace of Pentacles, they actually want to reconnect with you in the real world. They're not happy with the particular expressions of options, how to express it, actually express it, like in writing or verbiage or on the phone. I don't, they, they don't feel happy with their options for saying, I want to reconnect, nothing feels right. Um, but they definitely want to reconnect. They're just having a hard time expressing it. Okay, uh, it's, and they're not used to that. They're used to having, they're used to that kind of Queen of Swords thing. Okay, uh, so there's some awkwardness that tells me this person feels a little awkward when it comes to you. Um, I want to be able. I want. I want to express. Dang it. I'm having a hard time because they're having a hard time. I want to express my desire to reconnect with that, but I don't. I don't like any of. The options. I don't like any of the options. I don't. I don't like any of the options. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. Everything sounds awkward and weird to me. I don't like it. <laughs> and they're used to having a strong mind, so they don't like this. They don't like it. But yes, it's absolutely workable. You're not insane. There is an option here. Absolutely, it's going to take you strength to pursue it. But the good news is that you already have a working base knowledge of this person. Uh, they would like to connect with you as well. Okay, but they're not happy with how they're expressing it. They don't. They don't like any of the options. I guess uh, that's funny. That's very specific. Show me this. Okay, the magician. Yeah, it's not keeping them from manifesting it though. <laughs> yeah, you're both manifesting each other. You both held on. Even even when you disconnected, you both still held on to each other, energetically speaking. The four to the five of pentacles. Even when you disconnected. Okay, five of pentacles, you still hold on to each other's energy. That's kind of the long and short of it. So what this person is, what they mean to you, I do not know. Who knows? Who knows? There's a million reasons why. <sighs> Incoming. Heads up, Sag. Heads up set, and you are, you do have a heads up, okay? So, <laughs> nine of pentacles, they are going to communicate with you. L literally, they're like, here they are. Here's this nine of pentacles, okay? She's lovely, confident, and secure. This person's well-to-do, they're quite comfortable. They're gonna extend communication to you. Boom, there you are, that's your card, nine of wands, and you're on the receiving end of it. Ooh, so looks like your manifestation worked, honey. Good job, good job. You got them to, ma you manifested through this disconnect. Oh, look at you go. You man invested their energy to come back to you through this disconnect. It's working. Good job, honey. Damn, you did some serious work, too. You worked some magic on this one, didn't you? You're like, I want this person to talk to me. I want this person to talk to me. Uh, it's paying off, honey. They are. They're not happy with it. They don't, they, they probably feel silly, especially if they have a king or queen of swords mentality. Strong to say, they probably do feel a little awkward. Okay, but yeah, if they, oh. Yeah, they dropped, I got it. They dropped the line. Okay, they dropped the line. Here's the Empress here. Okay. They dropped that line. So, <laughs> they dropped the line, the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is shy, vulnerable, okay, but it's real and sincere. Okay, that's great. So it's manifesting some of you, yeah. <laughs> but, so yeah, I know you're not crazy. They're probably withheld, is what I'm trying to freaking say. That was driving me crazy. They're probably withheld with that Queen of Swords energy. They want to reconnect with you, but it feels awkward, right? So they're not really giving too much away in their communication. That's what it is. So you're like, is this workable? Yes, it's workable. It's legit. It's legit. Yeah, you manifest and communicate with you, honey. So I hope that Nine of Wands is you positively on guard instead of you blocking. Okay? 
because you're a strong blocker too. But Nine of Wands is also a fighter, okay? People often forget that. He's not just blockage, he's also a fighter. I feel like some of you were preparing for this, spiritually and or emotionally or fire speaking, okay? You were preparing yourself to receive this communication. You were manifesting it, so I hope you don't block what you manifest, because people do that and it's a dick thing, okay? It's like, I really, really want this person, but I don't take it seriously. Well, that's still manifestation, okay? So, let's see what you do, okay? I know this person means a lot to you. It's a star. It's a wish upon a star, honey. Mm-hmm. Now, what we like about this person, the mental, emotional, or physical, could be that they like to travel. There is heavy travel. There is heavy, but it's not just that. It's, um, they fine as hell. Okay. Very determined. Could be you. I am feeling like, again, yeah, it's an option. You're not crazy. It's an option. It's happening. Okay. It's just really fucking subtle. <laughs> Okay, they don't want to make an ass out of themselves, something like that, or they feel awkward trying to connect with you, but they are. I see them dropping the line at you. It's literally you're on the receiving end of this. Um, so the Queen of Wands, you know, she's very fiery determined, very fiery determined, okay? Uh, they move forward in a certain direction in their life, and once they say something to be true, they tend to act on it, okay? So that's the Queen of Wands saying, okay, everybody, time to get in the boat, time to move on. You know, there's new shores to explore. That's who this person is. They have a very determined, strong sense of will. They don't like to be stagnant. They don't like to hang around. Once they decide on something, again, I've seen that. Once they decide upon something, they act towards it with determination. They don't really take excuses, and they don't hang back in hesitancy. That's just not who they are. But when it comes to you, their stuff slows way down. Okay, because it's awkward. <laughs> I keep getting that. But you manifested them, so honey, I hope that's you. Here's the Nine of Wands. That's your energy, Nine of Wands. And I hope that's looking you looking with anticipation. I hope you don't block because, honey, as we saw in your last general love reading, you can have some Jedi-level blockage, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, the challenge here is this Ace of Wands. Why? 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 We can't take action towards the victory yet. I'm telling you, we can't take... Oh, the Six of Wands over the Ace of Wands. Yeah, we're feeling it. Mm-hmm. We're feeling it, all right. We, we're feeling it, okay? Um, the direction of your energy is perfect. Keep the frequency, okay? But we're not in a place, I think, where we can take action right now. Why? Why? Well, Four Swords is probably why. Uh, what else plays? It's the challenge. It's just it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time and pacing. I don't know why I had to say that. It's a matter of time and pacing. Communication, okay, yes, we have to keep the curiosity open, yes, of course. So, how is this a challenge, exactly? Waiting, I'm fucking telling, it's waiting, dude, it's waiting, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time, honey, it's a matter of time. I think you know that, though. So the timing may not be great, but I promise you, it's, I, feel, I seriously, if you have Aquarius in your chart, please check theirs out. The, the obstacles isn't really an obstacle. It's more like a delay <laughs> with all that lovely uh, heat you're packing here. And you're packing some heat, baby. Okay. Okay. Baseline, Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Victory, Being Seen, Recognized, Pride, you See Me, See Me, See Me. Where's this other? Sorry, I'm not used to it. I hate the reverse imaging. Page of Wands, Curiosity, Keeping the Communication Open, Waiting, 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 Waiting. So I'm literally looking at Zedge, what is a matter of time? You're not crazy. You have something to work here, work with here. Keep that going. You manifested this person to communicate with you. They did it. Okay. But the timing sucks. Okay. I got it. Show me the four swords, please. When, where, how, when, where, how, what? Four. Does that help you? I had to do a time check right there. Make sure I wasn't seeing four, four, four on the screen. Okay. We have to hold back. We, we, when you come back, that's all I got. When you come back, that's all I got. Or they come back. Somebody got to come back. That's all I got. Four and four is eight. So. Okay. <laughs> it could be the fourth. Something of significance, like I said, may have happened around the fourth. Uh, but four and four is eight. Who knows, honey? It could be uh, May 8th. It could be June 8th. I don't know. 
Um, anything else, please? We're holding back because there's nothing we can do right now. Somebody else has to clear their energy. Because right now, as far as I can tell, it's preoccupied elsewhere. You can't do anything, or they can't do anything. Um, I do see somebody traveling. Somebody is traveling. I don't know that it's for vacation. Who knows? There's a thousand one reasons why we could be traveling. Okay? But it is just a matter of time, distance, and energy. Show me anything else more conclusive, please, uh, about the who, what, when, where. Anything else, please, about circumstances, environment, anything that would be of use, please, to Sag. I don't know, but you ready to go. King of Wands. Damn. Yeah, it's of course Six of Cups underlying that. Of course it is. So we're ready to go, honey. Your energy is ready to go. It's just a matter of time. You know, you're not crazy. You got something to work with. We have a tentative plan here. Okay. Uh, they dropped the line. You hoped they would. They did. Okay, I saw it. Good job manifesting, honey. Good job. I don't think you're blocking it. I think you just don't have a chance. You won't really have a choice in receiving it right now. It, that kind of, I'm not going to lie. I can feel your frustration just coming off that card. No, I want. It's not, it's like, I'm not trying. Oh, that's what it is. You don't want there to be any confusion. I wasn't trying to block it. Oh God. Somebody said it. Somebody said. <laughs> Somebody said it. God. Why? I was manifesting and I was manifesting. Why? Now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. It's an accident. I'm sorry, honey. Well, you do have Jedi level blockage. Okay, you do. But that's not why. That's not why you're here. That's not why you're here. You're happily, because you are happily on the receiving end of this communication. You manifested from this person, baby. You got it. It's just the timing sucks. Oh, okay. So we're going to have some preoccupation. It might stand up. It might expand outwards up into a calendar month. Who knows? Between your shit that's going, because I do feel like you are moving around constantly a lot like Aquarius was, but it might be their stuff too. Calendar wise, calendar speaking in terms of practicality and actually meeting each other, you two might have extraordinary responsibilities or something like that. So it might be hard for you to, I mean, trust me, your energy is, let me make this fucking clear to you. Your energy is ready to go. The only obstacle I see here is that it's just a matter of time. Okay. It's a matter of time. Your energy is ready to go. It's just we're, we're, we're literally looking to clear out our calendar items, as it were. We got task list shit to do. Check, check, check. Okay. Um, and it, So that's why you're not blocking. I don't want them to think I'm blocking. That's what it is. That's why you're frustrated. I don't want them to think I'm blocking. It's not. It's, I don't. I, I don't have it. God. Somebody said it like, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was manifesting. This is not a surprise. This is not a, I was actively manifesting. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. However, <laughs> the timing sucks. Do I have options? Do I still have options with this person? Are they going to think I'm blocking them or putting them off or blowing them off? No, they're not. They're not. It's hilarious. Um, it's not hilarious. I, I see and appreciate how frustrating this is. I get it, Sag. I get it. This is very frustrating. Trust me. It's okay. Your energy's ready to go. Yes, correct. Okay, the star is not here twice. The, trust me. They're fine. It's on board. Everything's on board. Your energy will be moving forward. The night... Literally, here's your energy. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. This... I hate reverse imaging. Anyway, energy. Okay, to the star. All right, this is how you perceive this person. They are, you know, they're far reaching in your estimation, but someone who is worthy of your reach, yes? And we're trying to reach that star. And as far as I can tell, you will, okay? <laughs> I don't know, something to do with four, honey. I don't know. It could be upwards to the 18th. Uh, the star here is the representation of 17. Although, yeah, 17. It could be May 17th. Who knows? It could be May 18th. It could have to do with the somewhere around the four concept. Anyway, okay, let's see if we can do some. I don't want them to think I was blocking them. The frustration. I feel the frustration, baby. Yeah, we're going to balance up. We're going to balance up. Mm -hmm. We're going to balance up justice in the Eight of Wands. By the way, somebody attributes the other person to having blind justice skills in their communication specifically. They see the truth. Um, and they are neutral parties, something like that. So that's confirmation for some of you. You know, somebody has a way with the truth and also very strong forms of communication. That's confirmation. Um, also underline that we have a king of cups, so you might be dealing with Scorpio. It does not have to be. Okay, anything else, please? 
Anything else, please? Of course, Justice is Libra. Star is Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, we are disconnected. Now, in this deck, Five of Pentacles is a little unique. I don't see it. This is active romanticism. Okay, so Five of Pentacles, disconnected, abandoned, that kind of thing. This is the long, longing for romanticism, that which we have been cut off from, and we want, and we miss it greatly. Also, the sound of hearing music with somebody. So, <clears throat> romantic settings, um, you know. When I engage with their energy, I hear music and I, I feel romantic and that kind of thing. And we feel disconnected from this, okay, from that person and situation. It's not going to stay that way, honey. Okay, so I understand the frustration. I hear it as loud as it, it's clear as fucking crystal to me. The frustration is like, why? I'm not trying to block. I You work so hard manifesting them to communicate with you. And congratulations, you did. That's great. That's wonderful, honey. Good job. Most people can't say the same. Look at you. You manifested them so hard, they finally did it. When they did, it was like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Your first, I feel your frustration, honey. I get it. I totally understand. I'm right there with you. Okay. Sag, I hope this was helpful to you. You put it in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.